Hello my friends, today we are in Luminar Neo and we are going to edit this lotus flower and hopefully transform it into something like this. Again we will start with this and hopefully end with something like this. Let's see how we will go through this edit. First I would like to crop my image and I will just maybe try to get this flower more in the rule of thirds. Something like that looks good to me. Next, I am looking at this green yellow leaf and I think that just stands out too much. So I want to tone it down, kind of blending in with the other the greeneries. For that, I will go to color. I will desaturate it. I will go to HSL, move the yellow all the way into the green. And maybe I'll even go to the luminance and darken the green. All right, and that is better. And now, of course, I will take my paintbrush and only apply this edit to the greenery over here. All right, that is better. Now, I like to work with color again and kind of change the overall greens around it. I want to tone them down a little bit, make them a little bit less yellow. So for that, I will go to the color and go back to the hue and this time I will move the yellows a little bit more towards orange, something like that. Then I will move the greens more towards cyan. Let's see, something like that. And then the cyan, I will move it more towards blue. And that looks good to me. Then I'll move on into the saturation. And here I will move the greens, I will desaturate them, something like that. And I'll also desaturate the cyans, negative 22, that looks good to me. I also want to go into luminance, and in luminance I want to brighten the yellows just a little bit, not too much. Maybe something like that, I will desaturate, I mean make the greens a little bit darker. Something like that, and the uh, cyans, let's see, something like that looks good to me. All right, let's analyze the, our image. You know what, I still don't like this green leaf. It does not look good to me, so I'm just going to erase it. How about that? Just going to completely make it go away. Well, let's see how good the program is doing with that. All right, erase. And that is not bad. You cannot tell that leaf was there if you didn't know it was there. So I will take that and be happy with it. Next, I do not like this little bright spot over here. So I will just go to develop, turn down to exp the exposure to maybe something like that. And I will just paint it on this portion on the top where I have these like highlights. Those are bothering me. There you go. Now they are gone. What should we do next? I want to blur the background. And you know, we do have portrait bokeh, but it does not recognize anything that is not a portrait. So we cannot use it for this scenario. You know what? I also see these little spots over here. Let's erase those as well. I'm going to make my brush smaller and just got a couple of dots just to erase those imperfections and click erase. And there you go. That is done. So let's moving into blurring the background. I will try to use all the tools available to me. You can use all these tools more than once, but for this photo, I'm just going to use everything once. So I will start to structure, turn it all the way to negative 100. And then I want to paint the effect off from my flower because I want to keep my flower sharp and you see I'm going way out of the flower just because I want to build this uh, blur gradual so it kind of transition from very blurry to in focus where the flower is. So this is what I'm doing with my first blur. Next way of blurring it's details and I will turn small details, medium details and large details to negative 100. You see my flower is blurry again. So I will have to erase the effect on my flower. And this time I will go outside, but just a little bit out of the flower. 
and I'm not even going to go on the stem. I'm just going to keep it something like that. Great. So let's see where we are so far. This is our before and after. Before and after. Great. There is one more tool we can use to soften the image, and that is denoise. And I'm going to turn up luminosity denoise and color denoise. And you see that softens the image beautifully. Now I will take my erase tool and this time I will try to be a little bit more careful. Maybe don't even go all the way to the edge with my masking and just kind of make these parts be sharp. Protect them from the blur. Something like that. There you go. So now this is our before and after. It's looking good. The white over here on the back petals are kind of blown out, so I want to bring back some of that detail. And one tool I like to use for that is Super Contrast and just in the highlights. So if I move that, you see that just brings everything down a little bit. So I will go with that. Now I'm kind of happy with the way my image looks, but I want to give it more of that soft, delicate, look to it. So I want to apply an overlay. And I was not very happy with what the program has, so I'm going to make my own overlay. For that, oops, I have to get my docking visible here because I have an image in Photoshop. Now this image, I'm going to use this image for my overlay just because I like the colors in it. If you do not have a program where you can blur your image like Photoshop, Affinity Photo or something like that. Just walk around your house with your camera, put it on manual focus and take pictures, very blurry pictures of anything you like the colors on. It could be your carpet, your rug, I mean your couch, your clothing, whatever you can see, you can take some beautiful overlays. But for me, I will use this image and the way I will create my blur, I will go to blur, Gaussian blur and Let's see, how much do we want to blur it? I will blur it a lot. I don't want to see the person in the photo. So I will go to something, something like that. As you can see, it's just a blurry mess. We don't even know what's in there. And I will save it as a JPEG into my, let's see, where do I want to? I'll save it into my downloads and save. Great. Now I have my overlay. Let's go back to our Luminar. So now we're back in Luminar. We want to load that blurry image into my images. So I'll go to load image and there's my image. I will open it and now it shows up into my images. I will double click on it to load it as an overlay. And there you go. If I move my opacity to 100%, that is the very blurry image we just did in Photoshop. And let's see, I want to mess around with blending modes. I want to give it a little bit of that milky way. So I'll change the blending mode to screen and that is too much. So I will reduce to opacity. Let's see something, maybe something like that looks good. Now I don't want my flower to become so milky. So maybe I want to erase it a little bit from my flower. So I will go around with an eraser and just kind of paint it out. This time I want to make it smaller to be a little bit more exact. I don't have to go completely to the edges. It's okay. It will just look like it's blending more if I don't go to the edges. Maybe make it even a little bit bigger and just kind of go around. Let's see. Make it even smaller a little bit, maybe go a little bit to these edges, something like that. And that looks good to me. All right. Well, now I feel like the flower needs a little bit of contrast. It's kind of lost that, you know, spunk to it. So what I will do, I will actually load the same layer. I'll load it again, double click on it. And now you see we have the second one. It's exactly the same blurry photo. 
but this time I will change it to overlay and that will give us a little bit more contrast. You see that? Now it's too dark, so I will reduce the opacity something around here. And I would leave it over the flower because I do want that contrast over the flower. And I think that looks nice. So let's see if our image now. This is what we started with before and after. Before and after. And I think that looks beautiful. Before and after. I hope this was helpful and you learned some new techniques. And... Um, let me know if there's anything else in particular that you would like to see, any kind of tutorials. But for now, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing. I will see you in my next video.